My name is Shazad Raja. I'm a consultant cardiac surgeon at Royal Brompton and Harefield Hospital. Um, my areas of interest are coronary artery bypass grafting, particularly off-pump coronary artery bypass grafting with total arterial revascularization. I'm also an expert in doing aortic valve surgery and aortovascular surgery. Off-pump coronary artery bypass grafting is a surgical technique in which you perform bypass surgery without using the heart-lung machine or the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. The cardiopulmonary bypass machine is known as pump for the layperson. And as we do not use the cardiopulmonary bypass machine or the pump for performing off-pump bypass surgery, therefore it is called off-pump coronary artery bypass grafting. On-pump coronary artery bypass grafting is a conventional way of performing the bypass operation. In this particular technique, we connect the patient to the heart-lung machine by putting pipes into the various chambers of the heart. The blood circulates in artificial tubing and the heart is arrested during the course of the operation. Surgery is performed on an arrested heart and once the procedure is complete, the patient is disconnected from the heart-lung machine and the heart starts to beat again. During this procedure, holes are made into the aorta, which is the big artery arising from the heart, as well as into the right atrium for connection to the heart-lung machine. And this can potentially increase the risk of stroke during the procedure. To mitigate the these particular complications, a technique called off-pump coronary artery bypass grafting is utilized. In this technique, the patient is not connected to the heart-lung machine. In fact, the procedure is performed with the beating heart. As a result, the risk of stroke is minimized and the same procedure can be performed without the assistance of the heart-lung machine, without stopping the heart. The operation can take somewhere between three to three and a half hours. It can take longer or shorter depending on the number of bypass grafts to be performed and also on the expertise of the surgeon performing the procedure. But on an average, an off-pump procedure takes slightly shorter than the conventional on-pump operation, primarily because the patient is not connected to the heart-lung machine which adds to the duration of the operation. And at the end of the operation, the patient is not disconnected from the heart lung machine and the pipes are not removed from the patient. Hence, some time is saved. And therefore, an off-pump operation performed by an expert would take at least an hour to an hour and a half shorter than an on-pump operation. So coronary artery bypass grafting is a very safe operation. The standard procedure would carry a risk of one to 2% for an average patient in the 60s. However, the risk varies depending on the presence of comorbidities that the patient carries. Generally, it is a safe operation. However, the operation is associated with the risk of stroke, the risk of kidney damage, there is also a potential risk of bleeding, and sometimes the patient can have irregular heartbeat after the operation. However, most of these common complications are treatable, and they would extend the stay of the patient in the hospital after the operation. Generally, if the operation goes smoothly and the patient does not experience any of these complications that I have alluded to, then the average length of stay of a patient is somewhere between five to six days in the hospital. However, the length of stay in the hospital is also affected by several other factors, namely the social situation of the patient, as well as the age of the patient, and whether or not patient has had any other concomitant procedures during coronary artery bypass grafting. 
Coronary artery bypass grafting is a very successful procedure if offered by experts who can do this procedure safely. This has a success rate of somewhere between 98 to 99%. Um, in expert hands, the success rate is also 100%. However, it is important to remember that despite being a very safe operation, it is still a major operation. And therefore, it is impossible to suggest that the risk for the procedure will be 0%. Um, at the same time, it is important to understand that this is a very uh, efficient procedure for treating blockages in the coronary arteries, and patients can have somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 years um, following an operation freedom from the need for further intervention. Um, the freedom from re-intervention um, depends also on the nature of surgery and what sort of bypass grafts have been used. Conventional bypass operation is performed by using vein grafts and one arterial graft called the left internal mammary artery. Such an operation gives most patients freedom from the need for another procedure of up to 15 years. However, if a patient has had a bypass operation using all arterial bypass grafts, then that gives them longer freedom from reintervention. And on an average, you would expect that a patient would not require further intervention for somewhere between 20 to 25 years, as suggested by the evidence available at present.